Hello Gemini and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. Uh, this is the Astro Flower channel. It's a new channel. If you don't know anything about the Astro Flower, which you probably won't do because it's a new concept for the new paradigm, and uh, you will find in the description below a link that will take you to an introductory video that will explain a little bit about all the elements and the qualities within your sign and how they interlock with one another. Um, and it will just give you a heads up and help you to understand these sort of readings uh, that we do on a weekly basis with tarot and a bi-weekly, that's once a fortnight, on the astro flower that's concerning the elements and the qualities and which sort of parts of your life you should be concentrating on at that time. We also have a sister channel called uh, Cymatic TV, where I've been a healer for a very long time, 30 years, seen over 15,000 people's clients, um, and uh, I, a lot of it is based on the sort of energies that come through from the sun, such as sun flares, solar flares, um, uh, filament energies and coronal holes and stuff like that. And so we do an energy update on that channel, that's Cymatic TV. And there is a link in the description below. Please uh, go to there and uh, subscribe and click the bell simply because it will give you a heads up. It gives you a, like a nuance on the, all the readings that we do uh, here on the Astro Flower. So uh, this is a reading for you, Gemini. Um, you can get Obviously, we do the Astro Flower books as well, which you can find in the link below. Okay, housing, housekeeping out of the way. Let's get on with the uh, get on with the reading. This is a reading for the uh, 2022, and uh, I've got to say that most signs, and I think this has got to do with moving into the age of Aquarius. Most signs, it's all been about um, foundation stuff, really. You know, understanding how we put ourselves individually in the collective. And it's it's a bit nitty gritty work, but uh, you you Gemini's you, you you know, you won't be you won't be scared of that at all, you know what I mean? As long as there's a definite process of how it's all done, you know, and it's pretty clear for you, it should be it should be good, you know. So let's have a quick look what's going on with Gemini. This is petal one, so this is on your spiritual side, which is this side, spiritual and emotional side, like relationships, um, uh, you know, family, friends, and that sort of thing. And this side here is the uh, material side. So this is the petal one is the influences from the universe. So it's a hierophant. It's it's about justice, and Gemini like things to be just, uh, you know, and fair and clear. Um, you know, certainly going forward, um, that's the thing with Gemini, and they do have that precision within them, and that's what the hyphen's all about a little bit of knowing what you know to do what you got to do. You know, you've obviously learned a lot in your life, and it looks like the universe is asking you to sort of apply that understanding. And if you can see on that card there, I don't know if it's focusing, I hope it is. Um, he's laughing his head off because he has understanding, you know, and you can sometimes have the idea that you can look at the world around you and they could be doing crazy stuff as they have been doing over the last two years. But, you know, if you know where you're going and you know where you're from, then you're certainly going to be able to get the most out of life and apply that understanding in the world around you. And I think the universe is asking you to do that. Eight of wands on your karmic path. So this is your karmic path on the spiritual side. So these messages will be coming in or this, I think you're going to be, I think maybe the fact that it's on the karmic path, it usually means sort of like messages coming in from the universe, sort of like quite quickly, the unifying of forces and stuff like that, which Gemini, you're very good at doing. But I think you're the message. I think you've got to give them the message this year by applying the process of what you've learned in your life. You know, and 
you've come for a great understanding. We've all come for a great understanding over the last two years. And applying that great understanding to the to life is going to be, you, you know, I think on the spiritual front, it's definitely going to be part of your path. You know, oh, these two want to come out together. Um, uh, so we have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. They're both about starting a new journey and cutting through the crap, basically. So stop dilly-dallying on your on your physical path and just go ahead and, and do it. You know, she's walking across that ravine or waterfall or whatever on a, on a very thin, thin line and normally wouldn't support her weight. But because you've got lots of ideas, you know, you need to just apply them. That's what your karmic... That's the lesson for you this year in the material world is not being scared to actually apply that in the world around you. I think that's going to be really important for you. I'd, I'd like to clarify that later on. Okay, so two of cups. Normally it's concerned with the unification of love between two people. It could be the unification. And this is the message from the universe. So it's going on petal four here. So this is the universe is trying to influence your karmic path. So... In this coming year, do not do work or projects uh, and things like that for money. Do it for love because you're passionate about it, because you love doing what you do. You know, and if you don't love what you're doing, I would change if I was you. I wouldn't wait. You know, time waits for no man, as they say, or no one. <coughs> and you have that real possibility here to sort of say, no. No sod it, I'm going to live life. And I think the universe is trying to encourage you to do that. Encourage you to, um, you know, it, when you when you love what you do, you're no longer going to work every day because you're waking up and doing what you love doing. How brilliant is that? You know, and this year, the universe is trying to help you to learn that within you, you know, uh, this coming year. So on petal five, and this is this super subconscious, this is where your guides try and help uh, manifest around you in the community, around you, um, situations so it creates those coincidences that are happening so you can actually see your path or connect with your karmic path because it's really difficult to know exactly what we're supposed to be doing here on this planet. You know what I mean? It should become clearer as you get older, but, you know, it's sort of, it's a protection card. So as you sort of go down this path, and yeah, we try it on that, uh, as you go down this path, you know, and you start getting success and becoming that messenger, people are going to put you on a pedestal and kind of go, look at them. And some people may, you know, only a few, there's only one one that's trying to, pierce your bubble but the rest of them are holding you up and you know they're going to try and maybe try and knock you off your pedestal but you know um rely on your inner learnings and just say it is what it is you know i am what i am i am what that's a song isn't it i'm sure it is okay look at this, this is great on your on your physical side uh you know, you've got the sun here. So your guides are trying to manifest pure happiness with you in your physical world. And it's, don't settle for second best. I think that's what it's sort of saying now. It's a little bit like, you know, throwing caution to the wind and just saying, sod it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy what I've got and what, you know, what I've got in life and, and, and the life in front of me, you know, in the physical sense. And I think your guides are trying to encourage you to do this. You've got to take that leap of faith. You've got to take that, um, you know, take that understanding from within you and just jump out there and do it. You've got nothing to lose. You've got nothing to lose. Seriously, there's nothing to lose in the world. So we're going to move on to your subconscious and so moving on to your spiritual path. Strength. 
This is what I was saying earlier on about the Seven of Wands, you know, being strong and strong in it is what it is. You know yourself, there's no point, you know, dressing mutton up as a lamb, you know, um, you are who you are, you're straight, you're honest with the world outside you, If you know, if the world is honest with you. And you can be that roaring lion, but you can also be that soft lamb, you know, dressing mutton up as lamb, as I said. And she's carrying that heart over, you know, around her neck. And that's that love that you've got, Gemini. You really do have a love for the world. And it's this world needs you. It, it needs your message this year on the spiritual front and it, in the community around you in friends and family, and also could be the community of work and stuff like that. But certainly, you know, the world needs you, you know, and your love and your honest opinion. Because it's based upon, and this is where the universe is trying to help you, it's based upon understanding and knowledge of a path that you've already walked on, you know. The world. On the physical side, on your subconscious it's the end of a cycle and going to another. That's what they traditionally sort of say. But I sort of say, you know, if you were to say, what does the world have? The world has literally everything. I haven't seen a tree on the sun, Venus, Mars, or, or Jupiter, or Mercury, and all those planets are in retrograde, which we go into on the, on the astro flower readings and stuff like that, and how the planets sort of affect your, your elements and stuff like that. But this is different. This is, you know, on your physical world, you have that. When you fall in love with what you do, you will have everything at your fingertips, everything that you need. Um, yeah, falling in love with your path, falling in love with what you do. And if you don't love what you do, either change where you are, either, you know, get involved so it changes the job, or the, the project, or your business, or something like that, or start something new. I think it's more a case of starting something new. Uh, that's what I feel. You know, the old way, you know, the only way the old ways stop is when people walk away from them. And you've got that courage with inside you to actually walk away and do something completely different. So let's just see what we got for you on this is uh, petal 10. So this is basically how you interact with the world around you, how you manifest this all, these two paths together in one under one thing. Page of Pentacles, starting of a new physical journey. It's pretty much that. It's straight off the bat. Absolutely brilliant. It's the page is learning. Yeah. But it's learning, the page is not learning from scratch. The page has got to a stage where he's under the night. So he's already done some vague learning. Usually they've learned about horses and stuff like that back in olden days and stuff like that before they come a knight. And this is this learning that you're going to be doing, the message that you're going to be getting, giving out. And as you, as you do give it out and you fall in love with your life, you're going to start a whole new journey, which could well be a new business and project for you, Gemini, this year. Um, you know, or, you know, building a new house, moving somewhere. Um, it could be even sort of kids and stuff like that, you know, because this is a yearly thing. Um, you know, so it could be a good time to grow for you guys uh, this year, you people. OK, so this is your inner being. And this is probably your inner fears, I think, more than anything else. <coughs> Excuse me. A bit of a tickle in my throat. You're not... I, don't, I wouldn't say you're a very money-orientated person. So... You know, you may feel like you've been shut out from the rest of the world <coughs> in regards to the physical world, you know. But in a way, if someone shuts you out or if a, uh, the world shuts you out, it's great. 
That means you've got no more responsibility and you just get on and do other things. And the best thing about this card is, um, although the person seems pretty disappointed and stuff like that, they've actually got a key there <coughs> to that door. So they can actually open a new opportunity. Usually it means money loss and stuff like that. But I think it's a case of changing what you do. And I think that's got to do with the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords and stuff like that. I think it, it may be a little bit scary changing your path. Um, and doing something new and, you know, um, but I think, you know, it's worthwhile because if you do, all of this stuff is, you know, all your physical stuff is just going to flow for you. Certainly because you're going to be the message that's coming with this. You can't separate the two sides in a way. And I know it's scary. I do. Honestly, excuse me. I'm just going to have a bit, of, a bit of a tea. You know... It can be scary, but you have that strength to start a whole new world uh, around you, you know, uh, Gemini. Hmm. Let's just do a bit of clarification, because I do want to have a look at what's going on in that page of swords. And I'm really interested in the message that you're going to bring. It's going to be amazing to see your um, your readings now look at that, the Three of Pentacles. So it's all to do with community, apparently. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see the message that you're going to be bringing to the rest of the world or your local community uh, around you. Let's just, so I'm going to go first of all for the Eight of Wands. Let's just give ourselves a bit of space there. Nine of Pentacles, you have the resources at your fingertips. And that is to do with your understanding. The resources in the spiritual sense, understanding and everything like that. Four of Pentacles with it. You know, uh, you make... Look, OK, so... The universe works in the sense that as long as you are OK, everybody else can be OK. It's not a case of when everybody else is good... I'm good. It's impossible to do. There's, it's what, there's 7 billion people on this planet? I've got to make sure 7 billion people are okay before I'm okay? That ain't going to work. And that's just talking about people. Forget about the, you know, I'm not talking about the plants and the other animals who are just as important, as far as I'm concerned. You know, but don't forget you in this whole sort of thing. You know, it's the message, this is what seems to be the message that sort of saying we have everything at our fingertips. Look at that, and it's reflecting the strength card at the top. And it's this is where it's rushing through here, and I think this is Four of Pentacles. It's not a protection card, but it's a little similar to that, of about the Seven of Wands. You know, so giving out the message and stuff like that, we do expose ourselves, but then that takes a bit of courage. And that's what the strength card's all about. So, you know, it's showing the rest of the world that you know, if you've got a bit of courage inside you, you can, you can change the world. You can, you can move mountains. You know what I mean? Let's have a look at these two here. This, this page of swords and the ace of swords. Yeah. I'm going to keep that out. I do like shuffling, but I'm going to keep that out. Yeah, because it is the emperor and it is sitting in your power. So uh, it's. I think that's quite an interesting card, but I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle before we actually pick out the rest of those cards here. So okay, so four of swords. I think this has got to do with the um, five of pentacles as well. Bit of a healing and realizing that it's okay to change, to get shut out from the rest of the world, or to move away from what you know. Yeah, king of pentacles that comes in. This really reflects the emperor. Really does. You know, standing in your power, you know, uh, knowing what you know and doing what you do will bring you the resources that you need. The Wheel of Fortune. I think you're going to get really good success this year. This is one of the most positive, you know, it's, it's, it's a really good reading, uh, Gemini. Really is a really good reading. I'm going to clarify just this sort of like, just because it's fun, isn't it? You know, and then uh, I'm going to clarify the page of pentacles right at the top there because I want to sort of see what this 